everybody, Seth coming to you from Middle Nowhere, and today we're going to do a very simple mod of putting a window into a computer side panel. So here we have my side panel to my Corsair Carbide 500R, and we are going to use our rotary tool, which is a Dremel 4000, and we are going to cut around where this lip is, all the way around it. And this will let us have a nice space to put the window. So what you need to accomplish this yourself are a simple set of tools, as I pointed out already. Uh, you'll need a rotary tool. Again, I have a Dremel. Um, you will need a cutting disc. Now this I got specifically from mnpctech.com. I will put a link in the description below. Um, they recommend their discs or these kinds of discs. Um, I believe they're like diamond cutting wheels. You will need files for when you're done to smooth out any of the edges. You're going to want some light tech uh, painter's tape to protect your panel from getting any dings or scratches as you cut through it. You will need for protection, of course, some glasses or goggles. You will need a U-channel, which you will then put around the uh, where the cut was. This will smooth things out, make it look nice. Uh, again, also from MMPC Tech, so I will put a link to that as well. You will need some 3M clear mounting tape. This holds up to two pounds. You can get stronger tape if you want, five pounds, 30 pounds, etc. Um, if you're using acrylic, you don't need anything stronger than that. You will also need some clamps to hold down your panel. And then, of course, you will need the panel itself. And this is in the box because I got glass. So if you want to go the inexpensive route, you can get some cheap acrylic from Home Depot for about three and a half dollars. It'll be larger than this if this was the panel you were using, so you're going to have to cut it. Um, I decided because, you know, hey, it's 2017, so why not? I went and got some tempered glass custom made um, to fit the dimensions for what I need. Uh, if you don't know your dimensions of your cut or anything like that for your panel, you're also going to need a ruler, of course, and pencil and paper will always help. So that's it for what we need and what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera and we'll do, uh, show you, I guess, a time lapse. Here we have the panel completely cut. I've also filed it. I didn't record the filing part because I felt, you know, maybe that might be a little bit more boring. Uh, you're going to notice just some discoloration and some scuffs on the paint, but that's what the U-channel is for. So do not worry if it is not perfect. Additionally, uh, if your corners aren't fully rounded, uh, three of the four are fairly decent on this. And then this one's kind of more angly. Um, you could probably file that down more if you wanted to really kind of get perfect, but it's up to you. I would probably test with the U-channel first, just to kind of see if that 
will help. So, uh, next up is that. We're going to start placing that. We are not going to um, start on the corner. Instead, we are going to start kind of in the middle. I think that would be just probably the best place. Uh, corners can make it a little bit difficult. So now we have the channel in, and here is our sexy piece of glass. Uh, again, I did specially order this because of the dimensions. Um, it's got some nice heft to it. It is four millimeter thick tempered glass. Uh, if you have, first off, I would definitely suggest scouring Home Depot and Lowe's uh, just because you're going to find cheaper glass panels there. Um, and their dimensions, their standard kind of you know glass dimensions might actually fit what you already have for a panel. However, for me, because um, I didn't want to extend the window, I like the divot here. I just wanted uh, what was uh, covered by the grate where the fans went. Um, I needed to order something special, so this did cost about thirty dollars. Um, but again, it is you know uh, custom made tempered glass. So first thing you're going to do after you have the channel, um, and actually I want to show you guys how nicely. The channel covers any uh, imperfections and the corners look pretty dang round so we're all good there so anyway before you place the glass you're gonna kind of mock place it I guess figure out where the tape goes this tape is extremely strong I do not maybe for glass I don't know if you're especially um, definitely not for acrylic you do not need to plaster tape the entire length. I would probably do the corners and then bits in the middle and that's it for acrylic. For this I am probably going to definitely do the corners and then I'm going to do kind of longer strips along the sides and tops and bottoms um, just because I definitely don't want the glass to accidentally fall. Okay so let's get to it. have our pieces of tape they're clear you can't really see them so these are a pain in the bum to get off so you can see uh, get to the tape last thing you need to do of course is clean the panel and then place it and I do recommend pressing firmly what she said. And just kind of press in all the areas that the tape is. Now odds are, once you get the sucker in place, you're not moving it. And this be careful too because it will add a little bit of heft to the flax. So there you go. That's it. Nice and clear. Now why did I go with glass? Well one, it's 2017, everyone's doing glass. Uh, but two, uh, the acrylic, I have actually done this before. <laughs> and the acrylic, uh, I did a couple years ago. The acrylic uh, scratched way too easily and I didn't like it. So I think this is gonna be awesome. Here's the panel fully installed. And before you comment on that horrible, horrible GPU sag, which I've heard before, we will be fixing that and there will be a video on that as well. But this looks a lot nicer than what I had, which was just a mesh. Now I did lose two intake fans on the side, but my top, the, I'm pointing to the front, not the top, my front and top fans are both intake, and then my back is. 
exhaust so I still have a good amount of positive airflow. You can do this too. Uh, it's really not that hard. This took so getting dremeling the uh, the metal and then um, filing it down it took about an hour, hour and a half at the most, and then the rest, you know, getting the the channeling is a pain in the bum, but it wasn't terribly too hard. And then obviously taping and then getting the glass panel. Thankfully, uh, because it wasn't acrylic, I didn't have to cut anything, and that could take time too, because then you're having to measure and cut it yourself. The, the glass was made, and I will also link the company I used in case you want to use them. Uh, they were super quick. Uh, I don't mind paying, again, the $30 cost for a small piece of tempered glass. Uh, this is not tinted because I like clarity. And I guess that's it. We'll roll some beautiful bee footage, and uh, I'll get out of here. I'm going to go shower because... I look like hot death. <laughs> there you go. Got my hair. Yes, it's in a tail. It's hot and humid. That's it for me. Thanks for coming to the middle of nowhere. Like the video if you liked it. Show your support by subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or any of the other social media things that you and I follow. And uh, you know what? Have a good one. Let me know in the comments what mods you've tried to do and how your success went. This is actually the second time I've done this, and I think I've had a lot better success. Uh, the first time I didn't really know what I was doing, I still technically don't think I know what I'm doing, but I've, you know, time has passed and I've had a little bit of practice, and this looks ten times better. Alright guys, you have a good one, and remember, be nice to each other. Bye.